In a word, I'd probably say, I'd probably say productive. I would say grateful for me. <laughs> Bizarre. In all aspects, I think that this is kind of the place to be. In the player development world, there's nothing more important than just games logged, at bats logged, and just learning on the fly, playing the game, playing the game, playing the game. guys that were here, you know, it wasn't a year lost. So that's extremely fortunate for us, for the Diamondbacks' future, and for these guys' player development. March seems like a lifetime ago, and from the time we had the first day of minor league camp, it was, hey, you know, this corona thing is it's serious and it's going to start affecting games. We had an MLB mandate that we had to meet with all the players. We met with them, uh, talked about uh, safety protocols and things like that and how it could affect the season. And then literally the next day, the season was canceled or we'll put on hold. Uh, everybody went home. We didn't get to have a first workout with the entire uh, minor league squad. Everyone was pretty surprised when we, when we all got sent home. Everyone was just kind of doing what they can to stay ready at home, kind of not knowing what was next. I was just in Florida, and I was kind of just hoping, waiting for a call to be on that 60-man roster who's eligible to play in the big leagues this year. I was in Seattle, um, back with my family, and I think we got word on a, maybe a Thursday, and then started driving out and on Saturday. It was strange coming here. Everyone's wearing a mask. Um, we had the social distance. Um, it was it was different, but um, we adapted, and it's been great so far. Being able to get four at bats every day, where the stats don't matter, so you can kind of, I mean, they matter as into you want to get better, but like they're not getting put on a stat sheet, so you can kind of mess around with some stuff and try to figure out, you know, what's really going to work best for you. I was just watching some hitters in the major leagues, just like watching games casually and just like recognizing what they were doing, like not moving their head as much forward. Uh, so I started putting my foot down a little early instead of like having a leg kick. And there, I don't think I would have done that if I was, I don't think I would have risked, you know, trying to change a bunch of things if I was in AAA. Being able to you know, like I said, work on your crafts and solely like work work on yourself instead of more of a you know team kind of thing, where, which would have happened in uh, AAA. Yeah, this process has been nothing less than extremely unique. Getting these young outfielders, infielders, at bats, reps, innings, at the same time grooming someone for big league depth. You could have a, a game of two innings, a game of eight innings. Man, we're just, we're just flying by the seat of our pants, getting creative as we can to, to create this depth for the big league ball club. We'll do two sets of four. First four, strong, accurate, under control. Okay, good, strong, accurate, under control. Next four, speed it up and fast. Okay, charge the ball, get it, off balance, whatever you got, okay? We got a group of outfielders that are outfielders. They're not individual to left, right, or center. Uh, we move them all over. Um, we got them playing fundamentally correct uh, day in and day out. It's been fun watching these guys grow. Uh, being on the other side now, at, at times, kind of feel like a proud dad. So watching these guys develop into hopefully big leaguers here pretty soon. Um, Tori's going to be excited. The fan base will be excited. They'll be excited, and I'll be excited as well. Number one quality of a really good outfielder is hitting. hitting. Yeah. 
Yeah. Bouncy house in the front yard. Yeah. $2 Tuesdays off O Tacos. Johnny really takes pride in the outfield work and you know lets us have a good time out there and compete. So just getting to meet a guy like that and hearing his input on things and you know hanging out with him just he's one of the guys and having a good time out there with us. It's been it's been pretty cool. Got a pearl. Cage pearl. There to the moon. He got around it. Show not. Randy Machine Johnson, done. You won't see anyone more nasty in this machine today. This is a nice field. Ooh, 390, right center. Goes out there. What a beautiful day. Seven o'clock instead of five. You like that? Huge. Hey, who'd win the fight, me or Dom? Oh. You're mic'd up? Come on, who'd win the fight? Yeah. Alex's been asking this all week. Alex is a big top. Yep. Wow. I'm about 30 and 0 on that question right there. You're mic'd up, dude. I don't know. Are you kidding me? All the good players are Are you guys jealous? <laughs> Our outfield group is just one big family, pretty much. We all bash on each other, give each other a hard time. Um, it's really cool to see how, how much we've grown together since uh, all this stuff has happened. I mean, I'm in the top three best fitting pants on the team. You made the list, you? I'm top two and I'm not two. You made the list? <laughs> Anonymous, fans, fans vote. I think the biggest thing for me is just how competitive those guys are um, and just pushing each other um, every day you know in, in every aspect whether it's you know in the cage or um, just shagging on the field some, some fly balls whatever it is those guys always want to compete and so I know I've got to bring my A game every day so it definitely makes us all better. Good luck today. Good luck. Good Do I got a hot mic during my bat? <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> All right, let's see what we can do. All four of these guys actually throwing Chris and Robinson in there. Um, they travel together in a group, uh, they're in the same hitting group, they're in the outfield group. They hold each other accountable more than I've seen it at the big league level. They compete against each other in the right way and they just play the game right. And it's really fun to watch these guys go one, two, three in the lineup. These uh, kids got. <laughs> what? <laughs> what size? Four? Nine, bro. What? The Nine? Bro? No, geez. yeah. Oh, right. you're six. Whoa. Yeah. Why are you not telling me, Ellie? Because I want you to be normal. I'm normal, it's okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Why? Because you're, you're. Well, how tall are you? Six three. Six three. Yeah. What's the problem? With a size nine shoe. It's okay. What's your fault? What happened? I don't know. <laughs> I just. Oh, okay. You play in the Dominican League? I go to play this. Year. No, but no, but you played Last in the year. DSL. My How many? First year. And then ACL? Yeah. 2017, I played there. 
I come here for intuition. No English. No, it's okay. Then English now. A little bit. Hey, he's gonna hit you a ground ball. Perdomo's gonna hit you a ground ball. Don't be scared. David's been working his tail off. I mean, it, it's it's hard to give a guy with his skill set most improved. Watching the growth of him the last you know year and a half, and while we're seeing that growth at the plate, you know we're throwing in. Can you play the outfield? And and he can play the outfield. He's he's done a great job. Early work, extra work, getting as many reps at first base as he is in the outfield, and you know just like any way to get to the big leagues, any way to get to the big leagues. Hey, what's up, hey? What's up, Josh? What are you up to, man? Uh, nothing. I'm just chilling. Playing video games. Nice. You playing with Alec? No, I, I haven't been. Oh, uh, gotcha. Um, I was just thinking about how sick that home run was tonight. I don't know, it was sick. <laughs> I freaking it too, but I just know the, the deal. Called your shot. Well, hey, man, um, I've been waiting to give you this phone call for a long time, man. I'm I'm really excited. It's really well deserved. You're a big leader tomorrow. Oh my gosh, let's go. So, congratulations, man. Like I said, it's, it's really well deserved. And what you've done from the time you've gotten here to where you are now, it's it's incredible, man. So um, I'm oh, proud of you. <laughs> you deserve it, man. I'm proud of you. You got about it the right way. You got a lot of people that are really excited for you. I'm super excited. Uh, it was, we had an alternate game site yesterday and or alternate site game yesterday and finished the game went home everything was normal got on uh, the playstation with my buddy from college and you know we were just playing a round of pga tour golf when i got a call from our farm director josh barfield and you know he kind of just small talked to me for a second and i was like there's there's only one thing this can be you know <laughs> I called um, my fiance and my parents, and they're on the East Coast, so it was like 2 a.m. over there. So I had to call a few times uh, for them to pick up, but they picked up, and uh, it was pretty cool to, you know, have that that moment to last forever. My mom was telling me before I left that like it's gonna be bittersweet if you get called up because I want to see your first game, and it was like I guess it was the beginning of September. She kind of thought like. Maybe I wouldn't get called up this year, so it was getting later. And she was like, well, that's okay, because now I get to probably get to see your first game in the big leagues. You know, it kind of stinks for them, but they they got the uh, MLB extra innings. It was cheaper, you know, at the end of the year. So uh, they've been watching every game from afar. Haven does an unbelievable job of controlling the zone. He has um, worked his way through player development and grown and learned season by season, and he's ready for this opportunity. Um, he's created this opportunity because of the hard work that he's put in. So we want him to continue to do the exact same things that he's done his entire minor league career. Uh, and like I said, just introduce him to this level of pitching um, and this level of competition, and we want to see what that looks like. You get to the big leagues, there's so many unknowns, so I think being able to be comfortable uh, with as many things as you can, it, it makes the transition easier. So when I see guys like Varsho and Riley Smith and, and uh, Paven go up to the big leagues for the first time, you know they're going to be nervous, but they're not going to feel out of place because they've been here so often. Varsho down the line, Dalton Varsho! His first major league home run is in McCovey Cove. Swing and a miss, another sinker. Strikeout number four for Riley Smith. And a ground ball. That's going to get through a base hit. Center field for Paven Smith. There's his first big league hit. 
in his fourth big league at bat. He's got an official batting average of Major League Baseball. We have a bunch of guys coming in. They're, they're really close. That's, that was part of the, uh, the disappointment with this minor league season getting canceled because the amount of just quality prospects that we have is, uh, is, is pretty incredible. And we were really excited to see what they did out in the full season. You know, guys like Amiel and Derek Ladnier and Mike Hazen, they've done such a good job of bringing in talent, whether it's through the draft, internationally, free agents. You know, we, we have guys at every level. And when we were looking through the roster to make the, make the teams going into the season, it was so many tough decisions because there was, there was guys everywhere, particularly arms. There's a lot of pitching coming, and we just added more in this, uh, this recent draft. So, uh, I mean, the sky's the limit for these guys, and you hope that this is the kind of core that you can build around and, and have a successful uh, championship caliber team. You are right now trying to gain your step ahead of those people that are, have to be stuck here in every other organization or the people that aren't being allowed here that don't have the facility that you have. You're gaining your ground and furthermore on everyone else is that you have to be like, I'm going to push myself this, this much further past everyone else. 